Brian Holmes here, author of Ready, Set, Go, and president and lead pastor of Empowered Christian Ministries. This short video can help facilitate your one-on-one -on -one discipleship or small group discussion time. If you don't have the book yet, get a copy from your church or group leader or order it direct. Links to all the different versions are available at empoweredchristian.org forward slash ready, set, go. If you're with your group right now, don't do this right now. Just write down the link and do it later today after your group ends. I won't remind you this every week, but I will today, since this is the first video in this part of the series, to start with an icebreaker. This will help everyone get to know each other a bit and help the conversation get going. Start by going around the room, each person just taking one minute each to share about themselves. Now, if you're all part of a church or some other larger group connection, start by saying how long you've been a part of that. If there was a big reason you decided to join this group or Bible study and what you're hoping to get out of it, if there's something specific you'd like to share, or if there's any quick facts you'd like to add, if you're married, have children, etc. And then also, uh, provided you have enough time, if you don't unpack too much of that, then say some kind of fun fact about yourself. This could be anything. It could be an experience you've had, a favorite hobby you're passionate about, where you've moved from and why, or anything else that gives everyone a little insight about who you are. Let the host go first and then uh, work your way around the room in a clock-like fashion. Just take turns, pass it to the person on your right. Uh, just a reminder, if you're the kind of person who really loves to talk, please keep your comments brief, especially if you have a group of more than six people. We want to make sure everyone has time to talk and to be respectful of one another there. So keep this total icebreaker portion time to 10 minutes or less. We want to give Plenty of time to really talk about the meaningful portion of our discussion time together. So if you have 10 people, keep it to a minute each, right? This is only eight to 10 sentences, okay? Uh, so go ahead and do that now. Pause this video and do that now and then unpause. Okay, I hope that time was enjoyable and everyone got to know each other a little bit better. So this week, everyone should have read day one of Ready, Set, Go. Now, this is the most important uh, aspect of any kind of discipleship or small group or anything else that the church does, right? If we are not saved, if we don't believe, know, believe, and trust, and live according to the gospel, then most of the other things don't matter yet, right? Without the gospel, we're not saved. We don't have eternal life yet. And so we always want to start there. Now, this section this day focused on believing and sharing the complete authentic gospel. So that's our step. Our first step is belief. It all starts with the gospel. Romans 1.16, Paul says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. So we need to start with the gospel. Now, we went through in the lesson and looked at all these different uh, aspects of the gospel, and it really boils down to the essentials that I cover in the word gospel itself, right? God, opponent, savior, paid for everyone and life changing. So let's next uh, take a little bit of time to unpack that. Let's make sure everyone understands all of these six pieces. Now, I tried to do my best to make it uh, thorough enough to explain and understand and unpack these things. And of course, we're going to look at them in detail in future lessons. But first, let's just make sure everyone understands the general idea of each of these six points. So again, let the host person go first and just ask this question. Does everyone understand how there's only one God? how he wants a relationship with us. And take, you know, anyone who has a question about this or a comment about this, that, uh, again, keep it brief, less than a minute, but share those things, ask those things, discuss those things. Start with God and then, okay, opponent, right? How are we a sinner? What does that mean, right? Unpack that a little bit. Jesus as the Savior, how he paid for 
all of our sins on the cross and the atonement, uh, how this affects everyone and how he did it for everyone, and then how L, how our life is changed. So let's just make sure that everyone gets this. Now, you don't have to force this, everyone. If you all 100% understand each of these six points and everyone is in agreement and understanding, great, great. You don't have to dwell on it. You don't have to reteach or re-explain everything. But if there's any questions, uh, you know, take turns sharing what those questions are and unpacking that so that way we all have an understanding of what the gospel is. So go ahead and pause this video and do that now. Okay, great. So I hope everybody is on the same page now of what the gospel is and why it's so important. God has committed to each of us the message of reconciliation, right? We are Christ's ambassadors as though God is making his appeal through us. So how do we do that? Yes, we can share the gospel and we'll unpack some, some other ways we can do that. And our ministry also has other teachings. But let me just share uh, an easy way to get started. That is to share your 90-second testimony, and it looks like this. First 30 seconds is before you knew Jesus. The next 30 seconds is how you made that decision to give your life to Jesus. And then the next 30 seconds is what has happened as a result of making that decision. Now, 90 seconds goes by really, really quick. So keep in mind, this is only about four to five sentences per 30-second section. Now, anytime we give people an opportunity to do a 90-second testimony, it turns into a five-minute testimony or a 10-minute one, all right? So I really want to challenge you to be as brief as possible. Think of what are the highlights of my story that will make it make sense without me giving all of the detail. If you start to go, oh, well, I need to explain this part for that part to make sense, then you're already getting in too deep. You'll have an opportunity to give a five-minute testimony or a 10-minute one later on, and you should. Great. But for the 90-second one, that's an easy way to begin to share the gospel with people because they won't all be ready and willing to hear the full gospel. But you can ask people, uh, you know, could I share my 90-second testimony with you? And most people will say, sure, uh, I've got 90 seconds, you know, and then you can share it. So think four to five sentences. I was this and I used to do this stuff and I felt this way, right? I was, I was depressed. I was anxious. I just, you know, I had just committed an abortion. I had, you know, I was lost. I was chasing God. I was living in the world, living very sexually immoral, whatever it was. Summarize the brokenness of your old life in 30 seconds. Just give a couple of points and then say, and then introduce the 30 seconds, but how I made that decision to follow Jesus. I was in a church service, uh, a friend invited me to, and they did a salvation call. And I just felt the Lord tugging at my heart. And I said, I know I need Jesus, right? Or or I was in the middle of prayer one day and and I just felt, God, show me I need him. And I made the decision to give Jesus my life. Or, or I, was, I was in a prison cell and just reflecting on how broken my life was. And I knew I needed to give God my life. Whatever your story is, just summarize it. Give, give a, a, a snapshot of how you made that decision in that second 30-second window. And then since then, right, a little a brief 30 second overview. Since then, I know a lot, you know, I started with anxiety and then I knew I needed Jesus for it. And then now I don't have anxiety the way I used to. And I'm walking in freedom and, and it's, my life has been blessed as a result. It hasn't been perfect, but man, I don't struggle with the stuff I used to since I've been set free. Or, uh, you know, I used to chase idols and this and that. And I thought I was going to be, relationships were going to fulfill me and all of this other stuff was going to fulfill me, pleasure, money, sex, power, whatever it was. But now I am fulfilled in Jesus and he is satisfying me at the deepest level. And it's just, I can't tell you how great it is, right? So whatever 
uh, you know, you, you know, or now I'm in ministry. Now I'm serving at the church. Now, now my family has been restored, and or whatever you know, snapshot the next thirty seconds. So I want to challenge you, and if you have the ability to, I want the host to get an app and have a ninety second timer on it that you know makes noise at the end of it, so people know how close they are. And once they hit the the sixty second mark, I want you to go like this. Right, that lets the person know they hit the one minute mark, wrap it up, do the conclusion. And this will challenge you to be able to share your testimony briefly. Now, you can always refine it, you'll get better at over time with doing this. But uh, I want to challenge you. And the only time I've seen people do this well is when I literally I put the timer on a TV that we had in, in a small group I was leading, and they would watch it literally counting down in the side. You know, they're seeing it out the corner of the eye, count down. So, and everyone can see it. That's the only time I've seen people do this well. <laughs> so, challenge yourself before how you made the decision for Jesus and life as a result right now. All right, so go ahead and pause this video, let the host go first, and then again, go right around the room, 90 seconds each, one at a time. Definitely after each person shares, go ahead and clap, give that person you know, a, a round of applause. One, just to celebrate Jesus and what he's done in their life, as well as them stepping out and, and being willing to do this exercise. It's uncomfortable, especially if you've never done this kind of thing before. It's hard to think of the stuff on the fly. Most of them are going to be kind of rusty if this is your first time doing it. That's okay. Give each other grace. Just praise God that he has changed each person's life. If anyone is in the group that has not yet uh, made the decision to fully follow Jesus, that's okay. Um, even just take your first 30 seconds and say, I am not 100% sure I've made the decision yet, but I, I want to learn more about Jesus. That's why I'm here. Um, let me give kind of the 30 second, maybe 60 second of where I am today. Just so you all, I'm kind of letting you all into my story a little bit. You know, I've struggled with this. I'm, I'm kind of working through these things. And, but I know I need Jesus on some level. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. And um, I just thank Jesus for bringing me to this point where I'm, where I'm trying to, to, to make that decision. I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to hear what God wants to do. And so just share, it's sort of a testimony without that last part. And you can take a little bit longer to do the first part. And, you know, and maybe, or maybe some of you after hearing all the other testimonies are ready to make that decision. And, and then, uh, and then we invite uh, all the, everyone else to uh, have you make that uh, verbal declaration, you know, I do choose today to give my life to Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I repent and confess my sins and, right, and sort of everyone else just uh, lead that person through that prayer, make that, make that testimony, that declaration, and see radical change right there. So whether we're praising God for what he's already done or what he's currently doing right now, uh, that is how we fully embrace the gospel. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. All right, so I hope that time was a blessing for all of you guys. I, I can't wait to hear the testimonies. If anyone has the course version of this uh, series, this video, um, it's available. You can see it at the webpage I gave before, empoweredchristian.org forward slash ready, set, go. You can see the course there. If anyone has the course version, please come and share your testimony. I want to hear about what happened as a result of this small group discussion, everybody reading this and going through the exercises together. I want to hear about it. If you're on YouTube watching this, please leave a comment below about what happened, what did you like, what could it be better, you know, it's just share your testimony. Did, did, did somebody get saved at your small group? I want to hear about it. Did somebody really... Uh, get unburdened by sharing this and going through this exercise. I want to hear about it. So I just praise you guys are blessed. Uh, everybody read day two this week and then join with your group next week and we'll keep going. All right. God bless you guys. Take care.